Hello, everybody. So we'll talk about yet another use case of auto tensions in auto courts. Today we'll focus on G7, sharp nine, sharp five. So there are two tensions, and one very common use case of this court is like this: you go from the G7, sharp nine, sharp five, and uh, you go to G7, sharp five first, but with a flat nine. So basically, there's only one tension change. Okay. So go from sharp nine, sh flat five. You keep the sharp five there, okay. After that, you can go to C major seven, minor seven, or C dominant seven. It doesn't matter, okay. And for this example, we'll focus on the uh, C minor seventh, okay. So put down the shell. Sometimes, if you find it too mighty to play, we'll omit one of the uh, chord tones. In this case, I'm omitting the F, but uh, you can keep it by all means, okay. So G B F in theory, and then you add the tension. Um, this guy is sharp five, and then sharp nine. You can go to um, sharp five, and then this guy is flat nine. Okay, and uh, the flat nine resolve to the fifth of chord of the one. Sharp five of the dominant seven chord resolve to the ninth of uh, one. If we uh, take a listen to this example here, so G seventh. Sharp five, sharp nine. So let's see. Okay, sorry. So G B. So I'm ignoring the F. I'm omitting the F here. So I'm not playing this guy here. So just these two as my shell voicing. And then I need the uh, sharp five. Okay. And then I need the uh, sharp nine. So that's my G seven sharp nine sharp five going to a G seven flat nine sharp five. So still flat five. Okay. From this. This usually, um, if you go to the one chord, um, that would sound really nice. So say C minor. Sorry. Okay, so let me do that properly. C. You can go to major. So. You can go to um, dominant seven chord. Cool. Let's uh, work out an example on our own. So let's start with A dominant seventh. Okay. So we can put down. Let's uh, add the tension. Sharp nine, sharp five, and then you can go to A seven. Um, you keep the sharp five. Go to flat nine, and then uh, let's go to minor. So A B C D. Okay, D minor. And in this case, probably a D minor ninth because I need to resolve the fifth. Okay, so D minor ninth. Okay, let's realize it. So A seven. So it's shell A, C sharp, G, and then the uh, alt tension would be sharp five E sharp, sharp nine would be B sharp. Okay, going into let's deal with the tension first. So E sharp would stay. B sharp would go to B flat. Okay, you still keep the same shell voicing. Going to D minor to D F A. Okay, so the sharp five would become the ninth of of the one chord. B flat would uh, usually resolve to the fifth. So A. Okay, so B flat to A. Very nice uh, half step movement here. Half step movement here. So if you see these half steps, probably you're doing the right thing. All right. Hopefully everything makes sense. All right, then I would see you in the uh, next video. Okay.